In this video we will get the picture of the second law of thermodynamics. Till now we have seen only about the entropy change of an isolated system. In this video we will calculate the entropy change of other more practical cases where the system and surrounding are considered. It will also lead us to the second law. Let's consider the reversible process first. We can say that the Q divided by T is equal to the entropy change because heat is reversibly taken from the surrounding and reversibly supplied to the system. For the system, a DS system is equal to DQ reversible divided by T. For the surrounding, DS surrounding is equal to minus DQ reversible by T. Since the heat is removed from the surrounding, the negative symbol is used for the surrounding. DS total is equal to DS system plus DS surrounding. The summation is zero. Observe this. The entropy of the surrounding decreases to some amount. The system's entropy increases to the same amount as if the entropy is transferred from the surrounding to the system. Therefore, this entropy is the entropy transferred. Let's see a visualization. The system and the surrounding are in some initial states 1 and 6 with entropy values S1 and S6 respectively. When the system reversibly moves to state 2, the surrounding moves to another state 7 in a reversible manner. In both the system and the surrounding, the integration Q divided by T is equal to the actual entropy difference between the final and initial states. When the total entropy change of the system plus surrounding is calculated, it results in no net entropy change. That is called the entropy change of the universe which is equal to 0. From the surrounding to the system, entropy is only transferred, no entropy is generated. Let's see what happens in the irreversible process. Although in the irreversible process the system receives heat irreversibly, the surrounding is usually a vast reservoir. It supplies heat reversibly. DS system is equal to delta Q irreversible divided by T plus a delta S generated. The surrounding is usually huge and it can be treated to supply heat reversibly. So its entropy change is equal to the minus of the same heat divided by the temperature. The entropy change of the universe or the total entropy change is the summation of these two which turns out to be equal to the entropy generated. Therefore the entropy change of the universe is not zero but greater than zero. It means in an irreversible process, the entropy of the universe increases. Visually, the system and surrounding are in some initial states 1 and 6 with entropy S1 and S6 respectively. When the system irreversibly moves to state 2, the surrounding moves to another state 8 in a reversible manner. In the system, the integration Q divided by T is not equal to the actual entropy difference between the final and initial states. In the surrounding, these are equal. When the total entropy change of the system plus surrounding is calculated, it results in a net entropy change of the universe. That is only a part of entropy from surrounding to the system is transferred. The remaining increase in entropy of the system is a generated entropy. So the change in the entropy of the universe is positive. Here is the second law of thermodynamics. Change in entropy of any process is greater than or equal to zero. The most important meaning is that the entropy of the universe increases in irreversible processes. Meaning it is so in all natural processes. Now our job is to find out what is this entropy. In statistical mechanics it has a microscopic understanding. We will go towards that in the future videos. See you in the next video.